Struggling to add code to your repo? This video is for you. This episode is going to be all about the GitHub flow and how you can add code to your repository using that flow. Adding code to your repository starts with cloning that repository. So navigate to your repo on GitHub, click on the green code button and copy the link right here to the repository. Open up your terminal and type git clone, paste the link and click enter. Let's cd into the project, get going. And you'll notice that you're now on the main branch. The first thing you want to do whenever you're ready to add code to your repository is to create a new branch. This is an essential part of the GitHub flow or the Git flow because it allows you to keep your main branch protected. Let's run the command git checkout b in our terminals to create a new branch. I'm going to call my branch version one. After you create your branch, open your code in a code editor. I use VS Code, so if I type code period in my terminal, click enter, VS Code is going to automatically pop open for me. Now, let me ping Christina who's working remotely and she's going to add some code to the repository as well. Hey Christina, thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. I'm super happy to be talking about repositories and adding some code. Honestly, same. Okay, so I'm on the version one branch in the repo. Can you show us how to use GitHub Desktop to add code to a repository? Of course. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a branch called CSS using GitHub Desktop, and then I'm gonna add the styles needed for the application to look a little bit snazzy. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up GitHub Desktop, and first I'm going to clone Kadesha's repo. I'm gonna do this by entering in the URL in my client. So I'm just gonna click on the clone a repository from the internet button, then enter in, Kadesha's repo, and I'm gonna go ahead and clone that. And once this is here, I'm gonna create a new branch, and I'm going to call that branch CSS. And once cloned, I can go ahead and add my code to this folder. I can either save it directly from my text editor, or I can move the file using a file manager. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm going to call this style.css, and I'm gonna go ahead and save this into that folder. Now, as soon as I've made that change, GitHub Desktop is going to immediately see the changes and it's going to give me the option now to go ahead and commit them to this branch by adding a description and clicking commit to CSS button. So I'm just gonna say, create styling. And that's it. Now I've actually made the changes to that branch and we're done. So now what I can do is I can push my code to the remote repo and we can get that PR going. And that's how we use GitHub Desktop to add, commit, and push our changes to GitHub. Hope this helps, Kadesha. Thanks, Christina, for adding all that CSS. Now let's add the HTML and JavaScript files. In your terminal, run the command touch index.html space script.js. These will create two files in our repository. Open up your code editor and add the code that you need. So I'm just gonna grab my code and there we go. Now that I have my code, let's return to the terminal and check the status of what we've done. In your terminal, type git status. This will show you a list of files that you've worked on. Let's add these files to the staging area. So let's type git add and you can do git add period to add all the files at the same time. After adding these files to the staging area, I'm going to then commit these files. So I'm going to run git commit dash M, created initial project, and we should be good to go now. We can now work on pushing our code to the remote repository in our terminals. In your terminal, type git status to make sure that everything is ready to go. Then we're going to do git push origin version one. This is going to send my code up to GitHub for it to be safely stored. Okay, so now that our code is pushed, if we go to the homepage of the repository, we'll see a little pop-up message right here that says version one had recent changes. Do you want to open a PR? Yes, yes we do. So click on the compare and pull request button, add a title, and then let's add a little summary of everything that we just did. Once we do that, we can click on the open PR button and now you just opened your first PR. Amazing. Okay, so earlier we saw Christina use GitHub Desktop to push CSS code to the remote repository. 
let's pull in those changes to our local branch. So in your terminal, type git switch main and then type git pull. This will pull in the CSS code that Christina just added to the remote repository. Now let's type git switch version one and then type git merge main. And this will pull in Christina's CSS code into our local branch. Let's push to the branch and now we can merge. We've just successfully added code to the repository. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. See you next time.